who show hard work, determination, or driven. The Golden State Warriors have begun celebrating. You know, Draymond Green all season long kept quoting John Wooden when he talked about how he desperately wanted back-to-back -back titles. Wooden's quote, winning takes talent to repeat takes character. Well, they showed some real character tonight, not wasting any time to finish off the Cavaliers. Now, both teams empty their benches. Zaza Pachulia, a former starter. And now they'll have their third title in four years as Osman banks it in. And I think they'll be better next year, Mike. I think they're going to retool their roster, pare down some of the centers that they have on their team, get some more versatile wing players. Of course, Kevin Durant can opt out of his contract, but in the last couple of days he said a couple of times that he is definitely re-signing. It's just a matter of working out the details. A lot of credit across the board. Ownership, management, obviously Steve Kerr and his coaching staff, and tremendous job by the players. What a great run by this Warriors organization. And again, a, a complete different season. You remember last year, their only loss in the entire playoffs was game four. They were 16 and one, near perfection. This year, they had some struggles. Now they'll finish 16 and five, but they were almost eliminated from a great Rocket team. They faced two elimination games. It wasn't so easy. And Mike, remember in that Rocket series, both in game six and game seven, down big in the first half. And they, they responded well. And, you know, Houston is absolutely going to rue a number of things. But the Chris Paul injury to me, whoever won that Western Conference was going to win the finals. I mean, they were one half away from winning a championship. Golden State found a way to, to get it done. And uh, here, forming a dynasty. You, you've always talked about the fine line between winning and losing in this game. It's, it, I mean, Golden State clearly the better team, but it would have certainly changed the whole tone of these finals if they were able to pull out that victory, one that was right in their hands, game one at Oracle Arena. I'll tell you what, if I'm these fans sitting in this arena right now, I'm not leaving without showing again an appreciation and a thank you to LeBron James, reminding him how special it is to play at home and no matter what, acknowledging his greatness and the pleasure of witnessing it firsthand. Think, you don't, I think sometimes when you see greatness like his every night, you can start to take it for granted. But what he was able to do in this year's playoffs, to me was truly one of the great things he's ever accomplished in his career. And again, overall for the franchise to make four consecutive finals so difficult. And Ty Lue deserves a lot of credit. Enough credit. Well, Golden State comes in here to Cleveland. A narrow victory in game three. Total domination here. In, and again, the first sweep in the NBA Finals since 2007. The shot clock is turned off. Calderon will throw it up. And now they'll dribble it out. Final seconds here of this 2018 NBA season. There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again, back-to-back -back titles, three in four years, and the latest with a sweep. And we see LeBron James exiting the court. No congratulations. I'm sure there's frustration. But he congratulated the guys who were on the court before. Great point. Before he checked out, I should say, for the last time. And this isn't easy. This is absolutely not easy when you've given everything you have. And I don't think a sportsman, it should be dictated by if you shake hands or not. To me, it's by how you conduct your business and how you compete on the floor. And he's been a pro. Absolutely. Seth Curry, uh, the Golden State Warriors, what a performance. Just a dominant second half. Complete control.
And of course, the fans back home, perhaps some of them were hoping for a game five to go in person. But that place is packed tonight. Oracle Arena in Oakland, the fans, that watch party on the big screen, enjoying every second. The celebration underway in the Bay Area.